Think of a world where interest rates fall as an impending recession lurks around the corner. Picture Jeffrey Gundlach, the CEO of Double Line Capital, forecasting this very scenario. He sees a future where the Federal Reserve keeps the key federal funds rate steady, nestled between 5.25 and 5.50%. Now, you might ask, why this prediction? Why this outlook on our economy? So, what signs are pointing towards this economic slowdown, you wonder? Imagine a ticking clock, each tick signaling a rise in the unemployment rate and an inverted yield curve. Picture an economy, robust and thriving, beginning to show subtle signs of fatigue. The pulse of the economy is reflected in the unemployment rate. When it rises, it's often an early warning of a slowdown. Now, envision an inverted yield curve, a financial phenomenon where long-term debt instruments have a lower yield than short-term debt instruments. It's like a crystal ball, often foretelling a recession. But, what could possibly fuel such a scenario? Let's delve deeper. Picture a balloon, steadily inflating. That balloon my friends symbolizes the growing federal deficit. Like an ominous cloud on a sunny day it continues to expand casting a shadow over our economy. Its potential unsustainability is a concern shared by many, including billionaire investor Stanley Druckenmiller. He voices his apprehension about government spending, pointing to the need to address entitlement programs. Imagine an unchecked expenditure, growing like a weed that threatens to choke the life out of a thriving garden. Yet the Federal Reserve remains unfazed, or does it? Envision a chess game, where the Federal Reserve is contemplating its next move. Jeffrey Gundlach, the CEO of Double Line Capital, believes that the Fed's strategy might not be as aggressive as the current dot plot suggests. The plot indicates one more rate hike this year, yet Gundlach argues that the Fed might hold its horses. It's a waiting game now, as the Fed has not yet considered a rate cut and will continue to wait until inflation is under control. As we stand on the brink of change the question remains are we ready for what comes next?